One of the key challenges that you'll face as you start using the Sheet Set Manager is how to work with projects that are in midstream that already have drawings and layouts, but you have to get that migrated into Sheet Set Manager so that you can use the new methodology. Well, the easy way to do that is to simply create a new sheet set, which you can do from the sheet set drop down here and run the create sheet set wizard. The most easy and effective way to do this for most companies is going to be to simply import existing drawings. Chances are you have your drawings already organized in logical folders out on a network drive someplace. So they already exist. So we'll import them that way. So say existing drawings next. Go ahead and give the sheet set a name, a descriptor, if you'd like, that's optional, and decide where the sheet set data file, which gets a DST file extension, will live. Now, what I usually do is I keep the sheet sets in the same folder where the drawings for that project will reside. And my logic is the project team that needs to work in this folder already has correct network permissions to be there. So if I place the sheet set file, which will contain all of my data in the same folder, then my project team should have correct network permissions on that sheet set file itself. We'll go ahead and say next. And what I've done is I've just gone ahead and already browsed into that folder. And what you can see it, it scanned through and it found everything there in terms of all the DWG files and all of the layouts. And we can see here from our import options that we're going to go ahead and generate sheet titles based on the kinds of attributes that we find in the actual file names here. So you'll see that in a moment as the sheet set's actually built. Now in this particular case, as you, you can see by scanning through here, there is no subdirectory structure here. It, it's flat. So I don't have to worry about whether I'd have to create discipline subsets based on folder structure. So we'll just go ahead and acknowledge that. And we'll go ahead and say next to get to this screen where we'll get some sort of a preview that's showing us the various layouts that were found in those DWG files. And it went ahead and parsed that out alphabetically. And it will go ahead and create sheet numbers based on that parsing. And you can see that the layout names will be used along with the file name itself to build an intelligent sheet number as these files are pulled in. All we have to do now is say finish and some processing will occur and the sheet set will actually be built. Now we can see over here that the sheet set has been generated and that the 10 sheets that we would expect to see have actually been created and stored in the sheet set. Now, just because we've done this does not mean that all the values has been saved. So the trick is you have to go here to the top level of the sheet set, right click, and you have to say resave all sheets. That will go ahead and store down all of the properties. You'll see a status bar over here as that occurs. And once this is done, you've actually seen the entire process of how to migrate an existing project in and build a sheet set for it. As soon as everything is done saving, you're good to go. Now your users can get to work using your new sheet set. That's all there is to it.